Hi Roberto, how are you? Hi teacher, good night. Good evening. Fine. So Roberto, fíjense que ayer estaba viendo la, 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 la sección número 5 de la, que, de la que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ajá, fíjense que la estuve haciendo y sí, me había confundido un par de veces, pero porque como ya era de noche, ya estaba con un ojo abierto y el otro cerrado. <risa> ok. Este, lo volví a hacer en la mañana, pero sí, en la mañana me salió. Ahorita le, 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 le ubico más o menos cómo era para que estemos ahí sin problemas. It's okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rosy. How are you? Okay, so in the number one, I see which children are benefiting from duty working, right? Eh, right. Era Gemily, eh, sorry, Emily and Josh. Okay. Emily and Josh es la respuesta ahí. Porque prácticamente Ben no hace nada, dice que solo ve televisión. Entonces él, él, él no se beneficia tanto. Entonces solo sería ah. Emily and Josh. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y en cuál otra era la que tenía problemas? En la 2 y en la 4. Ajá, bueno. Que entonces me... ahí sería Ben. Ajá, exacto. Uh -huh. Como los demás aprovechan, ven no tanto, entonces no se beneficia. Uh -huh. Y luego, quienes hacen más house, housework, que sería tarea del hogar, eh, estamos viendo que era el papá, Steve. Steve. Uh -huh. Y también uno de los niños, que sería Josh. Uh -huh. Porque él dice que le ah, toca ayudar. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Thank you, teacher. Voy uh -huh. a volver a leerlo para comprenderlo. Ajá. Uh ya, -huh. yeah. sí, sí, que son palabritas, nada más las que tiene ahí que, que, que le cambian. Por eso no me salía tampoco a mí ayer, porque ya estaba con, como le digo, con un ojo abierto y el otro cerrado, pero ya en la mañana con la mente no me a leerlo, dije yo, ah, sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Así que lo revisa okay, y ya. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Hi, Yader, how are you? Hi, teacher. How's Hi, everything? fine. Thank you. ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Um, very hard. Very hard, very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, for me too. It was very, I mean, I had to work a lot. I was speaking a lot, but yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay I'm ready for the class. <laughs> okay. Right. So, nice to have you back. Hi, Rosy. Ahora creo que sí la puedo escuchar, Rosy. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal? Tired. Uh -huh. uh, tired. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah, me too. But we can yes. do it. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> All right. So, eh, mientras los compañeros se conectan, I want to show you um, the different activities that you have to do for the test. Ok, las últimas actividades que tienen que, que, tienen que hacer para el, para el examen final, ok. Son uh -huh. eh, cinco actividades en total, ok. Eh, en la primera, que eso siempre va a ser un listening, está muy fácil porque únicamente tiene que seleccionar eh, la frase o la palabra correcta, ok. Todo depende de lo que escuche. Incluso el audio está dividido por secciones, ahí le va a decir one. Y ahí tiene que poner atención porque una de estas va a ser. Y luego two, ¿ok? Igual a esta no tiene ninguna condición de que si se equivoca ya no lo puede hacer. No, no, no se preocupe. Lo puede hacer tantas veces como se quiera. Lo importante es que trate de entender cuál es la respuesta correcta, ¿ok? Así que aquí va a encontrar algunas de estas. Probablemente a uh, algunas de estas, uh, una o dos de esas le, le cueste porque no hemos... Eh, visto el último tema, que sería el, el present progressive, ¿ok? El presente progresivo. Entonces, igual. Si usted quiere dejar eso porque no lo hemos visto, no hay problema. Y luego la, la puede seguir sin ningún problema. Eh, digamos, si solo deja una y luego regresa, no tiene que volver a hacer todo el examen, sino que únicamente va, va a terminar la que, la que ha dejado pendiente. ¿Ok? Luego tenemos una conversation. Únicamente tiene que completarla usando do, does, or would. ¿Ok? Ya estamos practicando las tres. Okay? Acuérdense que do and does es uh, for the simple present. Okay? 
Cuando el sujeto es plural, vamos a usar do. Cuando es singular, o he, she, and it, vamos a usar does. Y would es para invitaciones, ¿ok? Así que ahí usted completa eh, las, eh, esas tres abajo. Luego más abajo, eh, tiene que usar el present continuous, que es el tema que vamos a ver ahora, ¿ok? Así que aquí tiene que escribir eh, lo que está en paréntesis, pero usando el present, el present continuous, ¿ok? Así que igual, usted puede hacer fácilmente uh -huh. las primeras tres y luego puede hacer estas cuando usted tenga tiempo, ¿ok? Así que, como le repito, acá muy fácil, do, does, or would, ¿ok? Todo depende del sujeto y, este, y si es una invitación, ¿ok? Right? Luego tenemos multiple choice, acá hay una, una oración incompleta, Usted elija prácticamente la palabra correcta. Okay. Uh -huh. Elige la palabra correcta, solo hay tres. Así que lo podrá hacer muy fácil. Eh, luego tenemos un reading comprehension, okay, que sería la última de las secciones. En este caso, va a leer un pequeño artículo. Vamos a ver. Ajá, un pequeño artículo de Audrey uh, Tattoo. Okay, that's, that's her name. Ese es el nombre de ella. Eh, Aquí va a haber información general, va a haber información general de ella. Y pues únicamente viene y selecciona la respuesta correcta o la oración correcta o la frase correcta eh, para completarla. Por ejemplo, en high school, Audrey the two acts in place, in television, sorry, on television or in movies. Esa respuesta la va a encontrar acá. Okay. Así que así está de simple. Uh, recuerde que al completar esta, usted puede ver todo su progreso. Únicamente le da acá, en la parte abajito del logo, dice progreso. Y automáticamente va a ver cuánto, cuánto lleva de porcentaje. ¿okay? Recuerde que tiene que tener un mínimo de 80% de porcentaje para poder eh, tener la oportunidad de estar en el siguiente, en el siguiente módulo. ¿okay? Porque es un prerequisito para, eh, para finalizar este módulo. Igual si usted no lo termina, recuerde que se, eh, se va a tomar en cuenta eso y pues... Eh, lastimosamente o sea, hay una multa ¿okay? por no haber terminado el nivel así que o el módulo en este caso así que trate de hacerlo con tiempo si se fija está muy fácil solo son una o dos partes nada más que probablemente le va a costar un poquito porque no hemos visto los temas pero esperamos que a partir de después de esta clase ya usted lo pueda hacer sin problemas ¿okay? así que Igual, tiene que tratar de terminar las, las cinco secciones, los ejercicios de las cinco secciones. Y luego se queda tranquilamente haciendo el examen. ¿okay? Y cualquier duda, recuerde que estamos en WhatsApp eh, para tratar de guiarle. ¿okay? No para la respuesta totalmente, pero sí para tratar de guiarle. Y tengamos un poco de paciencia con las que son las partes escritas. Por veces hay que tener cuidado con la puntuación. Cuando son oraciones completas. Usualmente se pone un punto, si solo es una palabra o una frase, no. De lo contrario, sí se tiene que respetar eso, se tiene que respetar las mayúsculas, ¿ok? Hay varios factores ahí que nos pueden influir a la hora de estar escribiendo eh, la respuesta. Así que hay que tener nada más paciencia y un poquito de tiempo para hacerlo, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Um, el día de ayer, yesterday, we were... Yo, perdón. Yes, yes, ajá. Uh -huh. tengo... Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. En la plataforma dice que el curso termina el 6 de marzo. Así es. ¿Termina el 6 de marzo? No, tiene que haberlo terminado por lo menos para este fin de semana. Eh, en inglés corporativo, que eso siempre nos los instan a que el traten de terminar el viernes, a más tardar sábado, así, ya como última instancia, podría decirlo. El problema es que ya el 6 de marzo tengo entendido que estaríamos iniciando el otro. No sé si me estoy adelantando una fecha o, 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 o es así. Por pero, cada módulo son cuatro semanas, ¿verdad? Así es, solamente son cuatro semanas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Probablemente uh -huh. ahí se, 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 se... O tuviera un pequeño error a la hora de programar las, las, el número de semanas para el nivel, ¿ok? O para el módulo. Entonces, pero sí, son cuatro semanas. Las cinco secciones se ven en cuatro semanas, ¿ok? Así que igual, trate de terminarlo para este fin de, o para, para el viernes. No, sí, por eso no hay problema. Solo mi pregunta era por, por eso que dice ahí 6 de marzo. Uh -huh. Sí, igual creo que Jonathan después nos va a estar recordando de la, de la fecha límite, ¿ok? 
Pero sí, este, creo que lo hacen porque, digamos, no sé si le ponen viernes y lo llevan a sábado, probablemente ya las respuestas no las tome como correctas o, o ya no las tome como válidas. Entonces creo que por eso le ponen un margen un poco más, con un poco más de tiempo. Uh -huh. Pero sí, este, yeah. ajá, eso siempre es en, a, en el fin de semana luego de terminar las clases. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, gracias. Ya, yeah, no problem. Ok. So, vamos a hacer un pequeño review. Solo me interesa saber cómo estamos en, pronunci en pronunciación, ¿ok? Así que si usted tiene un cuadernito por ahí, eh, únicamente va a escribir lo siguiente, ¿ok? Brothers, cousins, uncles, nephews, sister-in-laws, aunts, sisters, and nieces, ¿ok? Next to each word, you're going to write a number, ¿ok? For example, in my case, ¿ok? This is personal. In my case, uh, zero brothers, okay? So no brothers. Cousins, let's see. Like 10, I think. So I'm going to write a number, okay? That is personal, ahí es personal, okay? For example, in my case, zero brothers, okay? Uh, cousins, in my case, 10, okay? What about you, okay? You're going to write a number next to each word, okay? Eso es personal. Si usted tiene 30 primos, pues ponga 30, ¿ok? De los que no tiene, únicamente ponga zero, ¿ok? Zero. Así que ahí va a completar los 8, ¿ok? Escríbalos o les toma una captura y ahí los, eh, ya los tiene en mente para el siguiente ejercicio que vamos a hacer, ¿ok? In my case, I will continue. Zero brothers, ten cousins. Um, uncles, six, yeah, six uncles, nephews, mm, zero, sister-in-laws, zero, aunts, six, two, sisters, one, and nieces, zero. Mm -hmm. That's for me, okay? Eso es personal, eso es en mi caso. What about you? Mm -hmm. Okay, one minute more para que lo completen. You're going to write a number, okay? Un número al lado de cada family member. No les puse mother y father porque sé que tienen probablemente uno o solamente uno de ellos. Que hay siempre solo es uno, okay? Entonces, trate de jugar con los otros family members, okay? Okay, 30 seconds more. 30 segundos más. Okay, are you ready? Okay, we're going to practice this question, okay? Vamos a practicar esa pregunta. How many do you have, okay? How many do you have? Entonces, en ese espacio, usted va a poner eh, cualquiera de esos ocho family members, okay? Por ejemplo, how many uncles do you have? How many nephews do you have? How many sister-in-laws do you have? How many brothers do you have? Okay, el que usted quiera preguntar. Okay. Luego, si a un, usted le va a hacer una pregunta a alguien de su grupo. Okay. Y luego esa persona va a responder. In this case, it is not a yes no question. Okay, no es una pregunta de sí o no. Entonces no se puede decir yes or no, sino que tenemos dos opciones. La primera sería, I have... You say the number and then you say the family name, family member, okay? For example, um, Rosa, can you ask me Hi. about cousins? ¿Te puede hacer la pregunta usando cousins, please? Uh, teacher, teacher, how many cousins do you have? Okay, thank you, Rosa. I have 10 cousins, okay? I have 10, I include the number, and then the family members, cousins, okay? I have 10 cousins, okay? What about if it's negative, if it's zero, okay? If it's zero, let's see. Um, I don't have. Uh -huh, let's see, Yader, can you ask me the question with brothers, please? Brothers? 
Okay, teacher, how many brothers do you have? Ah, okay. In my case, I don't have any brothers, okay? Any brothers. Any means zero, okay? Any significa zero, okay? O no tengo, okay? I don't have any brothers, okay? Entonces, en el caso fuese cero, va a decir any. Y lo va a hacer en negativo. I don't have any. Y en el caso tenga un número, okay? Tendría que ser I have one, two, three, four, five, twenty, fifty, I don't know. And then the family member, okay? If it is one, obviamente va a ser en, 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 en singular, okay? Entonces, por ejemplo, si usted no solo tiene un hermano, I have one brother, okay? No S, okay? Don't say I have one brother. No, one brother, okay? One brother. Questions? Preguntas? Okay, so remember, this is the question, okay? Esa es la pregunta que le van a hacer a sus compañeros. How many do you have? Okay? How many do you have? Y luego se responde, usando, I have, blah, 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 or I don't have any, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, vamos a poner ahorita en grupitos. Y usted decide a quién va, a quién le pregunta. Okay? Usted decide a quién le pregunta. So let's do it, okay? Accept the invitation, por favor. Um, I, I think I have. Ah, sí, tiene que... I think I have fifteen nieces. Fifteen nieces. <laughs> wow. Nice. Ah, no, no, not here. No, no, uh, one. Ah, okay, one niece. Uh -huh. <laughs> one niece. <laughs> so okay. I... <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Who's next? Es que serían como los hijos de mis primos. No. Ah, si los considera ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí, porque si los considera primo hermano, se puede. Uh -huh. Ok. And Hugo. And ok. How many, how many brothers do you have? I have three brothers. Okay, nice. Three brothers. Um, Andrea? Yes. <clears throat> How many cousins do you have? I have ten cousins. Okay, nice. Okay. They are a lot. <laughs> Hugo. How, how many sister in law do you have? Okay, I have two sister in law. Okay, nice. So you have two yes. brothers, or how many brothers do you have? Three, three brothers. Ah, okay. Wow. All of you are boys. <laughs> you don't have any sisters. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, two, I have two sisters. Oh, wow, you are a big family. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, let's see, Andrea, how many sisters do you have, Andrea? I have one sister. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a ver, Hugo, uh, okay. how many nephews do you have? Nephews. 
I have three nephews. Three. Hi. 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 Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya terminaron con todos los family members? No, no estamos. No. Ah, okay. Okay. Me falta. Um, Jenny va a preguntar. Jenny, si quiere, si quiere le escribe porque si sí, no, no le escuchamos muy bien o no sé si los demás la, la pueden escuchar porque a mí me, me suena algo cortado. No, ajá, uh -huh. Sí, se sí, ha cortado. Uh -huh. So Jenny, si lo puede escribir mejor en, en el chat, ahí nosotros le ayudamos para leer. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Tal vez le puede preguntar a otra persona, Carolina. You can ask me. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. Um, how many how many nieces do you have? How many nieces? Nieces. Ah, mm -hmm. I don't have any nieces. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. We were discussing in the other group that, for example, if you consider your cousins like primos hermanos, maybe they can be nephews and nieces. Okay. But I don't have like close cousins. They live in the United States. They live in another place. <laughs> so yeah, we don't communicate too much. <laughs> okay. But if you consider them like primo hermanos, yes, maybe you can have some nephews and nieces. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, guys, uh, a few seconds more and then we're going to continue. Okay. Okay. Okay, so welcome back. All right. Uh, now we're going to see. Um, yeah, now we're going to see uh, another review for family members. Okay, we're going to see another review for family members. Uh, remember the apostrophe. Okay, yesterday uh, we were practicing with the apostrophe. Okay, so let's see if we remember. Hmm. Number one, my father's father is my, what do you think? Grandfather. Uh-huh, uh-huh, grandfather. Okay, perfect. 
Remember in English, when we have the apostrophe, it's like the opposite, okay? It's the opposite. Mm -hmm. The grandfather, okay? Perfect. Uh, my sister's daughter is my? Nephew. Nephew. Okay. Nephew. Nephew. Okay. Nephew. Okay. Mother's mother is my? My grandmother's son, my mother's son. Uncle or We have uncle or father. So we have uncle or father. We have It's my cousin. Okay, perfect. So this is how we use. Uh, this is how we use um, the the in the family members. So this one is yes. the present tense. Okay? Really present tense. Yes. I remember to use. Uh, phrases, okay, like like routines or actions. So you need something you do or practice you do every day. Present, okay. You know, the activities that you do every day. You will take a person like every day. Uh huh. Where? Uh huh. Walk, drive, walk, uh -huh. drive. Take a bus. Take a bus. Uh -huh. Take a. A top. Ah, uh, 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 What about a break? Have breakfast. Have break, have breakfast. Okay. One more. How do you listen to music? Okay. 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 How do you listen the progressive form. In this case, we're going to do ing, okay? For example, take. Uh, I'm going to do that one later. Work, okay? Work, in case it's Thank working, okay? Work. Now use ing to do this and do that, okay? Robot, what do you think? Working. Mm -hmm. Walking, okay, perfect. Um, about the text. Okay, in this case, I'm going to teach the letter equal ing, okay? Yes. So that's what you think of taking a shower. Okay. Okay. shower. What about brushing my teeth? Brush my teeth. Uh -huh. Brushing my teeth. Okay. So I include ING. Then take a break. That we be in a break. Okay. So this is what we use. So I don't think we are doing okay. I think that we are doing them. Okay. Uh, what else? Having. Uh-huh. Having. Uh-huh. Having breakfast. And I listen. Listening. Uh-huh. Listen. Uh -huh. Listening. Music. And my practice. What do you think? Uh-huh. Practicing. Uh -huh. Practicing. Okay. I'm missing one. Drive. Uh -huh. This week. Driving. Okay. Driving. So, it's very simple. What we're going to wait. Okay. And we'll see that right now. But you to mind. Uh, the same. Okay. So how do we say sentence using the present ready? First I need a subject, okay? Then I need to be, we're going to use to be this, okay? That is the subject, for example, either to be this. Okay, so for he. Is. Is, okay, what about him? Are. Okay, okay. Is. Are. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'm going to use the verb, so this is it. I think, okay, activity, uh, I shave ing. Okay, for example, in our in our party, I'm in Ryan, we have this, and then compliment, you know, see, compliment, and then I have a period at the end, okay? So that's very simple. So we have to see some examples right now, okay? And I am going to start with I, okay, I, and then you told me that verb is am, um, okay, so am, um, and then uh, I'm going to use speaking. activity, I'm activity that going right now, can you tell me? It's speaking. Okay, perfect. I am speaking in English. Okay. I am speaking. I am using the verb in ing. Okay. If you see, I am using the two things. Okay, the verb to be in ing. So I am speaking in English. Uh, what else? What about you? What are you doing right now? Learning. Listen. Okay, I am learning. I am listening. Okay, perfect. I'm talking. Okay, perfect. I'm looking. 
I am watching or looking. Uh -huh. looking. Uh -huh. okay. So that's what you are doing. But the negative, okay? the negative is very easy. Okay. okay. I'm walking. Okay. I am right now. So I'm teaching. No. I'm walking. Okay. I'm okay. I'm walking. Okay. I'm walking. Okay. I'm not walking. Okay. Am I walking? Okay. Am I walking? Am I walking? So I am not. Okay. So that's how we make sentences. And the speech. So I think this will be fine now. Okay. Let's see uh, the other side of this. I can describe what you are doing. Okay. For example, you're walking. You are listening. You are speaking in English. Okay. Or the negative. Uh, you are not. Uh, listening, you are not speaking, you are not eating, okay, you are not eating, um, tell me what you're doing right now. You are not sitting. Yes, I'm not sitting. Am I watching TV right now? Okay, you are not eating. Uh-huh. You are not eating. You are not driving. I am not, you are not driving. You are not drinking coffee. No, I am drinking Okay, I'm drinking water. I'm drinking tea. Perfect, okay. So that's how we use uh, using you, okay? Using you. Let's continue with. That. Now we're going to learn, okay? We're going to use he, okay? He, he is walking. He is not walking, okay? He is not talking. Is he walking? Okay, he's walking. So think of a family member, okay? Think of a member. In my case, my father. Uh, my father is sleeping right now. Okay? My father is sleeping. What about a family member of yours? A man. Uh -huh. My father. My son is. Uh -huh. my, son my, is... So my son is sleeping right now. Okay. Uh -huh. My son is sleeping right now. Uh -huh. My daughter is sleeping too. Ah, your daughter is sleeping. In that case, it's she. She's sleeping. Uh huh. My son is studying. Ah, my son is studying. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Now, my mom is okay. Oh, my mom is she? Okay. She she. Okay. Uh -huh. So my mother is uh, is cooking. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You can tell me a few more negative things. Okay. So now let's uh, let's work it out. Okay. So my sister is the computer. Uh, my sister is okay. She's the computer. Okay. How many people are there? Mm -hmm. Can be a my sister, uh -huh. Mr. Yusring. Ah, my sister is reading a book. Excellent. You can be my next person. Do you want to? Uh huh. Another person. And a family member. My wife. Uh -huh. My wife is checking the mail. Ah, my wife is checking her email. Ah, perfect. Uh huh. She's checking. Her email. Mm -hmm. My husband is sleeping now. Okay. Uh, he's he's not watching TV. Ah, okay. My husband is sleeping. He's not watching TV. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Uh, now we say with this. Okay. We say with he. She. Okay. We're just now to continue later with the next ones. Okay. So remember these are what activities you're doing in the moment. Doing in the moment. All right. So we just okay, and tomorrow we're going to do the other side. Okay? But remember, yesterday we played this and we did it. For example, in a movie theater, I watch the I watch a movie, I eat popcorn, okay, blah blah blah. Now we are going to change it, and we're going to talk about a family member, okay? And please remember that in third person singular, you are going to change the verb, okay? For example, uh, my sister, my sister in a movie theater. Uh, she drinks soda, she watches a movie, and she eats popcorn, okay? So I want to practice the, the, the simple present, okay? Me interesa que estamos manejando simple present, que es muy nice, okay? Por eso vamos a usar un family member ahorita, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to have... Let's see, Rosa, let's begin with you, okay? So let's Hi. see, Rosa, what number you are going to get. Number three. Uh, on vacation. Okay. Remember. Okay. On vacation. Mm. My, my brother. Mm -hmm. um, she, he. What's 
she, sometimes she stay at home. Ah, he stay home. Uh -huh. He stay home. Uh, she likes um, go to the, the shopping. I like to go to the shopping. Uh, uh -huh. uh, he likes to to have some places. Ah, okay. He likes to go to some places. No, no, no. Ah, no, he doesn't. Okay. He doesn't. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you, Rosa. Let's see. Continue, Bye. Hugo. Number three. Let's see. One, two. In a birthday party. In a birthday party. Okay. Just a family member. In uh -huh. a birthday, in a birthday party, my sister cooks. Uh -huh. Cooks a chicken. Ah, nice, delicious. Uh, my sister dance. Dances? Dance. Dance uh, merengue. Ah, okay. <laughs> dance, nice. dance, dance. Uh -huh. and, and drink, drinks, soda. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, continue, Javier. Let's see. Two. One and two. A wedding. On a wedding. On a wedding. Huh? On a wedding. My friend. Uh -huh. On a wedding, my friend eat a sandwich, sandwich and drink uh -huh. and drink soda. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, she she meets a other person. Okay. She meets other people. Huh? Other people. Okay. Other person. Uh -huh. Let's see you continue. Three. Go back to the Okay, Roberto. A wedding. Uh -huh. At a wedding. Mm -hmm. My wife, she dances with me. She dances with you. Uh huh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. My son is is uh, happiness. ¿Cómo se divierte? Ah, he he has fun. He has he has fun. Uh huh. Uh, my daughter, she eats, eats a cake. And she eats a cake. Perfect. Nice, Roberto. Thank you. Um, let's see, Andrea, you're next. Okay, Andrea, let's see what number you have. Five. Excellent. Let's see. So we are at a wedding. One, two, three, four, five. In a forest. Do you know what the meaning of forest? Mm. No. In a, a bosque, you know, like, like um, you know, there are a lot of trees, bosque, or maybe it's a bosque, okay, it's a forest. Huh? What do you do in a forest? Mm -hmm. Well, what, um, what does uh, maybe your father, your mother, your brother, your wife, your husband, your, 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 your daughter, someone? Uh -huh. Okay. My mother drinks uh -huh. coffee. Ah, my mother drinks coffee. Excellent. Uh -huh. um, my mother's uh, running. Uh, my mother runs. Uh -huh. Runs. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, my mother, como hacer fogata. Ah, prepares uh -huh. a campfire. Uh -huh. my, mother, a campfire. Uh -huh, uh -huh. my mother prepares a campfire. Uh -huh. Campfire. Okay, my mother prepares a campfire. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Let's see, Carolina, you're next. Okay, Carolina, let's see. Three points. Let's see. One. Uh, you watching a scary movie? A scary movie, no, like a horror movie. Okay. Mm. Uh huh. Your family members. When watching a horror movie, a horror film. Huh? And my brother. Uh huh. Mm, my brother. 
it's chocolate. It's chocolate, uh -huh, or mm -hmm. drink chocolate. It. Ah, it's okay. So it's a, it's a chocolate, uh huh. Um, he like um, he like drink soda. Okay. Um. um he. Um, That's um, uh that's she scream. Ah scream. <laughs> Excuse me? Scream? Do you know the word scream? Gritar? I mean the verb um, scream. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Scream. Yes. Yeah, scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. She screams. Uh-huh. She screams. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Oh. And uh, who's missing? Okay, four. One, two, three, four. When you are sick. When you are sick. Let's see. I sleep my mother. When she sleeps, she sleeps. Uh, she drinks tea. Um, she drinks medicine. Or she takes medicine. Also, she watches videos on Facebook. And let's see, my mother. Uh, she doesn't cook. She doesn't cook. I think we cook when, when she's sick. And she, she doesn't work when she's sick, okay? Because she works in the house. She, she has a business house. So when she's sick, she doesn't work. She doesn't work. Okay. okay. Now, so these are some activities, okay? You did a nice job, okay? Excelente trabajo. ¿Se acuerdan de las, de las reglas de, de la tercera persona? And that's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Um, all right. So, eh, el día de mañana vamos a continuar. And we'll do more practice. Vamos a hacer más practice. Okay. Uh, relax. Okay. Okay. Igual, okay. Okay. Eh, posiblemente si se ponen a hacer los, las prácticas de... de, 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 de y vamos a hacer un bruto. Y es muy importante. Y luego le ponen ING. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicas? Vamos a poner todos eh, los ejercicios de la parte 5 o la parte 6 para ustedes. Eh, Trata de más para luego que se con el examen. ¿okay? Igual como mencionaba, si tiene que otra parte, pero no terminó, digamos, dos ocasiones, no se preocupe, ustedes seguirán clases, lo mejor que sea, y luego incluso hasta aquí le digo a retar y tratar de resolver esas dos oraciones que le hacen falta. No se todo el examen, simplemente lo haga para que sean amplios o las que le hacen falta. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, para que pueda regir ¿okay? y que se tome su tiempo. Eh, si la tiene terminado por menos, no está el sábado, diría yo, para que no tengan problemas, eh, para que no tengan ningún problema. Okay. Um, así que, thank you so much. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay? Good night. 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 Good night.